buying a new boat can be a very involved process, even for those that have had boats for years. In my 48 years of boating experience, I've learned that the best boat is really the best compromise. So what we would like to do is take a field trip to a boat show and show you a couple of models, uh, starting with this video, which is the Cutwater C24, a trailerable boat with an outboard motor that really offers a lot of flexibility. First of all, I'll just get out of the way here. We'll go over really quickly a couple of specifications and also options before we actually go out and look at the boat. Um, first of all, the boat, they call it a 24, but if you look at it, and this is one of the things that you're really going to have to keep in mind, the length overall of this boat is 31 feet. So when you're putting it on a trailer or trying to get it into a slip or to a dock, you're really dealing with a lot more than 24 feet because of the long swim platform here and also the outboard motor. Beam is standard, 8.6. This is important for trailering. Um, you've got a weight of about 5,000 pounds. Now, if you're going to try to tow this with an SUV, that could be an issue. If you're having to tow it with an SUV with a 5,000 pound weight capacity, because by the time you put the trailer there, you're going to be over. So unless you're going a really short distance or taking it down to the ramp, this might not be the boat you want to look at. Water capacity, yep, actually there's a fresh water capacity there. 30 gallons, you have um, a hot water tank of three and a holding tank capacity of 11. Here we are, here's a picture of the boat on the trailer. Available options, now look at this. For a 24 foot boat, and you're gonna hear me say that a lot, this has some considerable options. Of course, most boats will offer a cockpit, uh, sun and sunshades. Air conditioning, you can get air conditioning on this. Um, of course, the trailer, they have an anchor package, autopilot, a pusher or kicker motor, bow thrust with extra battery, a diesel forced air furnace, downriggers, entertainment package, and so forth. Actually, radar, inverter, macerator discharge, all of the things that you would want on a small cruiser. I hope you'll enjoy the video when we go through it at the boat show. We just try to point out some things that you might want to consider when you're purchasing a boat because, again, in my opinion, the best boat for you is what suits your needs. I like this boat because it's flexible. You can fish with it, sleep on it, take the family out for a weekend, water ski. Really, if you're looking for a versatile boat, this boat is definitely worth your consideration. Hi, welcome to the Portland Boat Show 2020. Today we're going to be looking at uh, four cutwater boats brought to you by Sundance Yacht located in Chanson Beach, Oregon. So we're gonna start with the Cutwater 24 and I'm just gonna kind of step out of the way here. Look at that boat. That is a beautiful 24 foot, but it doesn't even look like 24 feet. Okay, so we're gonna start with a walk through the boat, but before we get into the boat, I wanna point a few things out on the exterior, beginning with the bow pulpit here. From this bow pulpit, you can see this ladder. This ladder will drop out and come down four rungs. Very nice for beaching. You can put this up on a nice soft sandy beach and this will get you all the way down to the beach safely. Four rungs is kind of unusual. Okay, so a couple things I'd like to point out. First of all, is look at this railing up here. This boat is only 24 feet and that is a very nice, tall, safe railing. Smaller boats are gonna rock more so having something like this to grab onto when you're out working on the front of the boat is going to be very safe. Also good for small children. Also, just kind of notice this really nice stainless steel rub rail. If we come down here, I'd like to point out a couple of features on the hull from the front. First of all, of course, notice that this has bow thrust. Again, remember, this is only a 24-foot boat. While we're down here, I want you to take a look at these rings right here. These are very handy in helping the boat get up on planes because what they do is they break the surface tension. They create bubbles and it actually helps the boat lift up on planes. So a couple more features about the hull. First of all, it's multi-step. So um, that will help it get up on plane too. 
Now notice here how we have the wider section in the bow, which is going to help it lift up on plane faster. But then as we come back here, the hull narrows out. And what this is going to do is help it turn much easier. It takes the um, squareness out of the aft of the hull, and it's going to help it turn much nicer. And then you have these chines, which help you control and also lift. This is a patented hull design, and um, I know from personal experience, it performs very well. One last thing I'll point out, since they have it hanging out here, but we'll talk about it up top too. On the 24-footer, you notice that they have platforms for mounting uh, downriggers. You see here they've got a nice, really pow uh, powered downrigger. And on this one, they have a trap. But again, remember, we're looking at a 24-foot boat. Okay, so we're standing at the rear of the boat. Just a couple things I'd like to point out. One of the things, of course, is the uh, trim tabs. Notice they're rather large, especially for a 24-foot boat. So I'm assuming it's going to perform pretty well. Good stout cylinders there. You can see some of the self-bailing outlets out here. They do incorporate the um, back flush to try to keep things from water from coming back up them. One of the really nice features about Cutwater, and it's unique to Cutwater, is they incorporate trailering lights on the boat itself. So when you trailer your boat and you get it up on there, you bring a cord out from the anchor locker, put it down to your trailer and plug it in, and you have full functioning trailer lights on the boat as well as the trailer. So that makes it much more noticeable and safe. There also are side marker lights up on the side. So again, full functioning lights. As a last note, I just have to laugh about this. Notice here that they have a Yeti up on the back. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these if you go out for two or three days. We, um, I'm not promoting Yeti itself. We actually have a different brand, but these long duration ice chests are just unbeatable if you're going to go out for two or three days. And um, it's great to cap keep your food in your refrigerator and your drinks out in here. So that's worked really well for us. So we're up on the bow of the C24. Maybe you can just kind of pan over, give them a little bit of a view of the top. There you go. You can see the rack system, the kayak. Really handy. They also incorporate some nice rack systems with waterproof bags for people that are looking more for more storage, especially on a smaller boat. What I wanted to show you here is the tackle. So when you go to anchor your C24, you can rest easy that you've got a good anchoring system. First of all, you've got this nice solid bow pulpit that you can stand out, especially if you have to lean over the bow of the boat. You've got this nice claw hammer, which we found to be very good for anchoring your row. And look at this windlass. I've actually had a larger boat than this with a smaller windlass. Very, very sturdy, very sound. And of course, your tie-off cleat. Look at the size of that. Now, most important, all of this doesn't do any good if you don't have a nice place to put it. The C24 does very well with that. You've got this nice deep anchor locker that is accessible from both sides and runs the full width of the bow. Plenty of room to have an adequate chain and row. All right, before we step in the boat, I just want to point out this beautiful 250 horsepower Yamaha engine. But don't let that scare you. Unlike older engines, the newer electronic fuel in, um, injected technology really makes them quiet and fuel efficient. Also, with an engine this size, for those of you that have had older outboards and had to crank and fight it around a turn, this is completely electronic. It's all firewire gear shifting, acceleration, and of course turning. So it performs like an inboard outboard, only better. First thing we notice as we step on the boat is you have this really nice accent lighting again. I like the coloring. They also have um, the same lighting down on the trim tabs, which lights the water, but it just makes a nice, soft, subtle way to come in the boat at night. And as you come on the board, boat, boat rather, Please note the uh, really nice ski pylon here. So this is really a good family fish and ski boat. Okay, a couple more notes before we step on the boat. I did talk about the kayak. 
see here with all of this nice racking. They've got a fishing net up there. And this is a sun bimini, but you can also put full canvas enclosure on here, as we've done with our boat, which makes this a whole other room. Now you can see clearly these um, power downriggers. If you didn't have these on, this is just a nice black plate here. The storage down here, you've got a power deck wash. You have access and storage under here. Huge storage, I'll let you get out of the way. Look down there. And it also has a well drain, so off to the left you can't see it, but it does actually drain down and out. Notice that there's these really nice stainless steel cup holders throughout, and these do have drains in the bottom. And here, look at this for the fishermen. This is really nice. It has a built-in fish cleaning station, including water, running water, and a very deep live well. Look at that. That is a fisherman's dream. Okay, now when you're fishing, I mean, it is nice, you have this seating here, but sometimes when you're fishing, it's good to get this out of the way. That goes out of the way quite nicely. Another thing I'd like to point out is, look how deep we are in the cockpit here. This is really a nice safety factor when you're out on um, rough waters and the boat's rocking. This will help you keep in. Also, nice grab rails, stainless steel, good for grabbing a hold of, and of course, fixing lines and tying things onto. But this is a really nice, deep, wide cockpit. Over here, before we go in, look at the windows for visibility. And when it's hot and you need some ventilation, this will tilt up. And there's the power assist. This does, as I mentioned, have two really strong cylinders on there to push it up. This is something that I would recommend being careful with if you have kids. This does want to come up fast and forcibly. So just kind of let that come up nice and soft. And your dinette seating here will move forward. And look at that. Now you have ventilation all the way from the boat to the boat from the door and this and additional seating if you like. So now we've come in the boat from the cockpit. And again, bear in mind, we are standing in a 24 foot boat. First of all, look at, I like the fact that this is um, mostly fiberglass. All of the materials in here stand up against uh, mold and mildew well. Being in the Northwest, this is a real big consideration. Possibly some of you have had boats with what I like to call the rat fur. And um, I've had boats where it was throughout the interior in the liner and rat fur loves mildew. Look at this beautiful galley. It comes with an alcohol or electric stove. Very nice cherry finish. A beautiful stainless steel sink. And look how deep that sink is. That is a very deep sink. Again, every time I move around this boat, I can't believe I'm in a 24 foot boat. You've got this right here, which is nice for holding cups or um, various things up there that you want. You have a pull-out faucet with two phases or modes, either um, spray or just normal faucet dispense. Okay. You have a drawer. Okay. That's a little stiff. I'm sure they'll take care of that. And a huge, and I do mean huge, storage area down below for putting various things in, pots, pans, and food. Really an amazing amount of storage. Note that you have your water level indicator here. You have 110 outlet. I believe this boat comes with three standard, and you do have the option to add more. Over on the other side, we have our dinette. And it looks like you can sit probably um, two people comfortably and maybe um, smaller people or children, you could get two on a seat. The seat does drop down and this does make it into a twin size bed. So again, you have this, this is your reversible seating. Over here we have the seat that faces forward when you're underway. Or of course, move this forward. There we go, and that swivels over rather nicely and it makes your dinette. 
Now, one of the, the other amazing things about this, folks, is the mid-birth. Now, check out this amazing mid-birth. Again, once again, I'll say it, if not too many times yet, we are in a 24-foot boat. So under the dinette, the seat hinges up quite easily, I might add, and down below is a mid-birth. Looks to be a twin-size mid-birth, comfortable for an adult or kid. Also, you have all of your panels and switches for the boat operation. Quick to get to, out of the way. Now, from the aft end of the boat, looking forward, we've already talked about the dinette. One thing we didn't um, point out this part of the galley is you have this nice little microwave down there. Okay. And over here, you have this really large refrigerator. I've seen smaller refrigerators on 26 and 28 boat, foot, foot boats. It's really a beautiful refrigerator. A couple other points. The boat comes with very nice soft accent lighting or what they call aircraft LED interior lighting. It's very nice. And if you look up here, when you're driving at night, which we frequently do, you also have red lighting so that you can see what's going on, but it really cuts down on interior glare, glare when you're driving at night. Okay, so we're standing here at the helm of the C-24. Very functional. You have your Garmin chart plotter, bow thruster, all of your engine indicators, and uh, necessary switches, VHF radio, your uh, shifter. Down below, you also have your heat, your cabin heat, which is uh, driven from the engine. One last thing I'd like to point out, a very nice feature. I've had a number of boats, even larger, that only had a windshield wiper for the helm. This boat actually has a windshield wiper for both sides. Nice feature on a small boat or a smaller boat like this. This is where your radio or entertainment system is. Just take a note, I'll step out of the way, at the visibility from the inside of this boat. Amazing visibility. I've had a number of express style cabin cruisers and having after having um, this, or at least this style of boat, I'll never go back. Before we come down into the forward V berth area and also another dining area if you like, I'd like to point out another really nice feature again on a unique feature for a boat at size. This cabin can be closed off and be completely private. There you go. So if you have guests or if you just want to put the kids down forward and have them asleep, you're able to have them separated privately and still have two other functioning areas in the boat. So we're down here in the forward V berth area which right now is set up as a dinette. Where can you have a 24 foot boat that has the potential of having one, two, and even out on the cockpit area, three dining areas? That's amazing. And you see over here, we have a television set built in, which by the way, does have a DVD player. You've got a sink down here, so it kind of acts like a little breakfast area. There's a privacy curtain here. Maybe you might not wish to use the heavy door, or if you're spending the night here and you have kids that want to use the restroom, you're able to have a separate privacy curtain come around and seal you off while you're sleeping in here and still have access to the head. All right, so now look at this. A fully functional marine head with an actual marine toilet and a holding tank with 11 pounds excuse me, gallon capacity. You have storage up here, a little porthole for light, and fresh air. Look at the size of this V-berth area. You can comfortably accommodate, when this is made up as a bed, um, someone over six feet. Very nice and comfortable. Also, they have nice, again, indirect soft lighting. There are reading lamps here in the front, which do come in handy, and there's also aircraft overhead lighting that's not on. One of the things that I really like about this boat 
is the amount of natural lighting that can come in. You have two large oversized portholes that not only allow for natural lighting, but fresh air. And then also down on the side, on each side, you have two port lights, which let light in and fresh air. Screens come for all of them. Storage is not a factor with this boat too. Under all of these seats are deep storage wells. I can show you one here. There's another storage well just like this on the other side and a deep one forward. And for things that you don't really want to tuck away, you have these beautiful shelves up here, very handy for throwing bags and things that you just want to get into easily and don't want to tuck away. This is a very well laid out rebirth area. Anybody could be comfortable here. Okay, we talked about it as far as being up high, all the nice fiberglass um, liner, but I, did, I neglected to mention the floor. That of course carries through down into the floor, which makes this very easy to clean. And they do have these nice snap in and out runners that um, clean easily, look nice, and just snap right in or out. A very well thought out boat. Well, I hope you liked our walkthrough of the C24. We'd like to thank the good folks at Sundance Yachts for allowing us to film their boats at the Portland Boat Show 2020. Thank you very much. If you have any questions for me, feel free to put them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll bring you more reviews.